Well, that's Monday. Fuel tank's here. Oh, it's actually sunlight. You can see the Camaro still has decent paint. <coughs> I'm gonna open this up. I bought some more primer. I have some enamel black that I'll spray on it. And uh, then we'll just pop it in place. And uh, whenever we're ready for it, it'll be there and we can hook everything up. We'll probably uh, blow out the lines and all that stuff. And uh, do some welding in places that need it before we ever actually put fuel in it. But we can go ahead and paint it and set it in there. That way, that part will be done. And when we're ready for it, and it's there. So I'll be doing that. This is the old tank, 16 gallon. Here's the new one, 16 gallon. Both have the drain plugs. Everything seems to be in the right spot. It already comes coated with something, but I'm still gonna uh, spray some black on it. I may do primer and then black. Or I may just do black. I'll squirt a little bit of black on it, see what it looks like. Once I can find it. This spider up here keeps connecting webs to my car. He's gonna have to learn not to do that, or he's gonna come down from his web. Black seems like it lays on there, all right. So I'll just shoot it black. This may or may not actually do anything, but I'll always do it. Because to me, it seems like it gives it a little extra layer of protection. Probably should check and see if it fits first before I do this. That way I can return it if it don't, but... It looks close enough, so. We'll just trust that it fits. Says it's a direct fitment. We'll let that dry and then we'll move it around and spray the rest of it. Well, I was out in town and bought some more primer, so we'll do some more primer. And as you can see, my wife's stupid cat It's already out here ruining my damn primer. It's the one negative thing about using this primer. Is if something gets on it, it doesn't want to get off of it. So like that, I'm gonna have to sand that out and re it. So, I'm that's drying. I'm gonna start over here near this fender. And I don't think I'm gonna be worried about the hood. We'll go up along this fender. We may leave the top of the fender and then just come along the side here. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just get started.
Yeah, this sounded pretty decent. Went ahead and did the top of the fender here. Just so gonna go ahead and get it while I'm at it. All I can do from here down and back. And I'll stop here and then I'll go from this corner to here and then down. And then at another time I can get all this cleared out. Find all my stuff I need and I'll shoot some primer on there and then I'll pick it up and show y'all what it looks like. I didn't do a good enough job when I was cleaning the surface of this but some of the primer just bubbled up and ran immediately in some of the spots but and overall, looks good. Got a little bit of the bubbling here and there. And then a little bit through here. Down here, I had a lot of it. So, I'm just going to... Now that it's kind of tacking up a little bit, I'm going to try to finger away a little bit of the excess here. That way it'll have a little bit of a smoother surface. That way I can come back later and just uh, wet sand the roughness out of it. It's uh, Aggravating that this happened, but it is my own fault that it happened. So we'll just kind of smooth these bubbles out. And then once it all dries, I can come back and wet sand it and do a little better job. Get a bunch of that excess off there. I'm going to lay it down flatter. This is why you clean your surface good. Don't be an idiot and rush. Or you'll end up like me. Trying to finger paint your Mustang. But yeah, overall, it's better. I did... This was the real ugly red and rusty one, so yeah, not too bad. We'll let that dry. We'll screw around with it a little bit more, give it a couple more totes, everything. Call that one done. Well, I'm tired of crap. I'm very hungry and I don't want to do it, but the car would look so much better if it was complete with primer. So I'm going to tackle that side. I really don't feel like it. But I'm going to do it. And I'll probably regret it. But I'm going to do it in a rush. Hopefully it'll turn out right. We will see. So I'll probably do another time lap of it. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. Maybe I'll set it up on that speaker box and whatever you can see, you can see. Right now I'm tired. I don't feel like doing it no more, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just to get some progress. Then later on, I'll come back and wet sand everything over a weekend. And then probably spray it again. But I'll probably do that closer to time when it's time to drive it. For now, I just want it one color. I'm not doing the doors. As you can see, that hole there would be a complete waste of time for me to do it. Since I know that I'm going to replace those doors. So I'll do under the door and around it and up and over. But I'm not doing this. It's fine how it is.
Okay, for some reason, it's still wanting to run on me. I know I wiped down the whole area a lot. So, I just did a dusting over it. I'm going to give that a few seconds. And what that'll do is it'll give something for the primer to stick to. That way, it won't be as likely to run. Because it's... It's wanting to run. So, I'll let that kind of tack up, and then I'll give something for that to stick to. And then we'll spray the whole thing. After letting that side tack up, it stuck to it pretty good. That spot looks like that, because it shadows from the trees. But, as you can see, it's not perfect. But it's all one color. You can see here where they did Bondo and the Bondo is tripping out. Well, uh, nothing really I can do about it. That's above my pay grade. And you got this spot. Which ain't nothing terrible, so I'm just going to leave it. But she's starting to look better. All this darkness you can see in this is just dust from the sanding. I'm still going to hit this corner. I mean, overall, it's not too bad. I could just leave this how it is, since that matches. But I also don't really like the rush, so I'm still open there on that one. But I can't reach the roof, I'm too short. So I have to wait till it's down on the ground again before I do the roof. I'm gonna leave the front end blue because there's nothing wrong with it. And, uh,. Hood, there's no point in doing it because all these giant chunks of Bondo is missing. It'd be pretty pointless. So that'll be replaced later on anyway. Uh, I could do this, but I feel like it'd be easier to do if it's off the car. And I don't know if it comes off the car or not. There's something I'll have to look into. But we'll go up the pillars here. Do the roof. We are going to leave this how it is because it's in pretty good shape as well. Uh, this lower part's in pretty good shape, so we'll probably leave it there. It ain't hurt nothing. I just wanted to get all this. You know, one color instead of seven. So, we can have all that primered and then just the blue. And then the doors are going to stay how they are because they're shot anyway. So, the only thing really in question is this fender. I'll see how much it stands out whenever everything else is done. But... If that would have been a more of like a solid white with that, and if the whole car was that way, it would have looked pretty cool. It could have made a cool little street rod, rat rod out of it. But working with what we got, I'm going to flip that over. It's been a while. I'll paint the bottom side of it, and then it should be good to go set in place. I'll have to round up some bolts for bolting it down and everything, but... I'm going to wait about bolting it down anyway because who knows, I might need to get through that hole or something, so we'll flip it over, get the bottom of it painted, go set it in there, and see how well it fits. I feel like this corner is not supposed to be bent, so I might have to bend that back out. I'm not entirely sure where I left off, but... I'm gonna screw around with these headlights. Check, see if I have any power. 
Don't know exactly how they come off, but I assume you take these Phillips head screws out. And then in there, I can see that there's a flat head screw. So I'll start with doing that. We're just going to pull them out to where I can access everything. Then we'll put the key in, turn the headlights on. And I'll use my voltmeter to check, see if I got power up there or not. But here's a day or two later, as far as all this being primed. Still got it. Stupid cat walking all over it, ruining it. Ain't nothing I can do about that. Cause the carport's open. And it, eventually I want to get it closed in, but I mean, I just freshly did this. And this crap doesn't ever really come off. You can scrub it, but you still see it. So gonna have cat prints all over it I guess it's pretty annoying but ain't nothing I can do my wife wants a cat so we'll uh, get that pulled off there see what we can get figured out we find some screwdrivers and crap I'll pull that out of there and then I'll pick you up once I discover something three screws that hold this piece in and then you just pop it out with a flat head and then there's one there one up top you can't really see because the camera's not picking it up and on this side there's that one and another one here and another one directly underneath so I'll pop those out real quick pop this out further looking at it I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera or not. This bulb does look like it. I see it's black, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like the top half black or not. I don't know if it's burnt up or what, but we'll pull it out nonetheless. Figure out what's going on. What I found is these are also just three these other ones in here are for adjustment so you got the adjustment screw there the adjustment screw on the bottom and then this just plugs in this is a sealed unit so what we'll do now is we'll go get my tester and we'll just stick the prongs in here see if we'll get any power anywhere and that'll tell us if we have power coming to the front and then we'll know that these are in fact bad. So we'll do that real quick. And if not, it'll be chasing down these wires, trying to find out where they go and getting power back up to here. So we'll grab the meter and we'll do that real quick. As you can see, we do know there's at least power up to this point. I don't know if it's in the same harness or not, so test it real quick. This may be hard to do one-handed, but I'm going to attempt to do it and show y'all what I'm getting on my meter. Okay. Let me double check my ground real quick. I may not have a good ground since I'm doing it one handed. This is actually really hard to do one handed. Okay, let me let me screw around with it. I can't do it with one hand. So I'll pick you back up once I figure out something. Okay, so no matter what I do, no matter where I put it, I cannot get any type of reading off this plug. And I should be. It's taped right here, so maybe this is part of my problem. Let me try to find where this routes to. Okay, I see it right here.
It goes down. Let me trace this for a second. I'll pick up when I know where it goes. I really know nothing about car wiring, but everything seems together. And everything seems like it goes within this big wiring harness down here in the bottom. And then that leads back through over here and leads to this wiring harness. That leads around and goes up there. And there's something unplugged right there. I can check into that. But then it leads to this. And this is supposed to be plugged into here. Not exactly sure what it's for. This wire is missing out of it, whatever it was for. So, let's see if I got any sort of power here. Or I wouldn't. What? A, I don't know. I don't know what this thing's for. I've never seen one of these. So, or a backup. We'll go see. There's something unplugged over here. See if we can find out what this is. Cause we got this. That goes straight in. But it has that coming out. I think this is our wire over here. It goes in right there. back out to here. I know, that's a... There's nothing in that. What the hell is that for? So this runs back over. And that's what's got something missing out of it. I have no idea what that's for. As you can see, somebody's been screwing around with all this stuff. It's gonna be a mess trying to track it all down. So that runs to the inside. Where we grab this rat nest. Oh crap. Okay, so that's for the brakes you've got this thing here is this what's supposed to go out there and plug in in some sort of way and then you've also got this it's unplugged Oh, there's my fuse box. Wonder if it's unplugged from the fuse box. Or the fuses are blown. Or what? We'll dig into that more later on. Uh, I think this will be the end of the video. That's just a preview of what's to come. Next video, we'll try to tackle that and see what's going on. So, tune in next time.